Why hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. And Chantal, of course, uploaded another video. It's called Hometown Diaries, which is something I've been waiting for this entire time, finally, after like two and a half weeks. But anyways, uh, best Chinese buffet. And even though she literally just said in the last video that she wasn't or she hadn't gone to a Chinese buffet yet. Or, and driving memory lane, which I think she means down memory lane. But, you know, anyways, I'm not going to think about that too much. Let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? <laughs> Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey guys. So I'm going to start my series on vlogging just around different parts of, you know, my little neck of the woods here in Canada, you know, between different little towns in between Ottawa, Cornwall, all that. So I went to the Dollarama before I start and I got a snack and before I get really serious, I'm really hoping I will, I know. And I know you're rolling your eyes, but which I'm, I don't even know what she's even going to be eating yet, but I'm assuming it's not going to be good if she has to warn us ahead of time. Uh, Chantal, you have diabetes. Uh, you can't blame anyone else for the way that you're eating other than yourself. Like, come on. Like, at this point, you're almost 40 years old. At what point are you going to take it seriously? Just, your body can't take too much more, girly. The more stress that you put on it, the worse it's going to be, I promise. I feel like I really want to have my favorite snacks from here. Some of them, one last time. Um, so... How many more fast food funerals are we going to do before something happens? Just, I hate being morbid. And I wouldn't wish her that kind of, you know, whatever. But it's just, like, honest to God, like, how much more of this can her body take? Got a big turk here. <laughs> this is my favorite candy bar growing up. Turkish Delight, Lukum. It's chocolate covered Turkish Delight. I'm a big Turk. Takes me way back. <laughs> so. Okay, well, while you're back there, can you go to a therapy office? That would be wonderful if you could. Whatever, Chantal. It's not going to affect me in any way, shape, or form. The only person that you're really affecting is yourself. Choices. Are these expired or what? Thought I would show you around a little. Some of the places I like to frequent for drives instead of the long road. You know what, we have the long road in different areas. Well, I'm going to show you some areas I like to go driving when I'm around here. So, um, if there's anything you'd like to see in this vlog series, just let me know. I can try to accommodate you. I can't promise. But uh, the air is dry, so my nose is always dry. And anyway, a lot of things have changed in this area. So, yellow, let's go. Put my big turk away. Ugh. Big turk. Dollarama! But Chantal, I thought driving videos were so lazy and like nobody wants to watch them, right? Wasn't that like what you said probably at some point and went and put it past you? And look what we're doing now is content. Wow, driving! Uh, Ike Moronic! Mm hmm. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> so this is a core as I'm backing out of. This used to be the original Pizza Hut in Cornwall. We're in the corn. Woo! All right, and uh, it's been a Pizza Hut for a lo the longest time I can remember. Look what happens to be right across the street from the Dollarama. Mm hmm. Just so weird. Isn't that just so random and weird and quirky and unique? Look at that. You see it? I see it. Interesting. Except for I think it's been a few years now since it's not. All right. I love the pine trees here. I was so used to, um, you know, palm trees, pine trees, palm trees, very close. So this across the way here, Value Village, Pet Value, Habitat for Humanity. I don't remember exactly what it was before um, Value Village was. Oh, you see the Value Village? Um, that, my friends, is where I used to go as a kid for spaghetti. It was like Giovanno's. Jovanas or something like that. If anyone remembers, Spaghetti House. <laughs> and I had a picture of, I think, a woman um, crossing her arms in like a cameo style picture in Jovanos Spaghetti House. Um, what am I doing? I can totally turn right on a red light here. <laughs> so I'm going to do that now. Okay. There we go. Woo! And also, I love how we're just reminiscing about the pizza that was at that value village. Like, yeah, I used to go there all the time. There was a, a picture of a lady that had her arms crossed there. It was such good times. 
and I used to go there all the time as a kid. I have to slam my phone because my thing will show. Okay. Um, all the time. <laughs> and they had really good spaghetti and garlic bread. I guess spaghetti is a comfort food for me because of, you know, I saw someone comment that foods are comfort foods because they, we associate them with a happy time in our life and it's true. I love this winter scene. You know, I used to hate the winter, but being in constant sunshine and summer and warmer weather all the time, you kind of miss the, it's, it's a, it's a winter gloom that, uh, you know. I have the same exact thing, but opposite. I'm in Florida and just sunshine and it being hot and just musky and hot and damp. It's just, it's, I absolutely hate it. So I understand exactly what she's talking about. It's a winter gloom for sure. Oh, oh. On this Mary Brown's restaurant, I'm driving by here now, it used to be an A&W. Are we just going to be pointing out all the food places, not like actual things that we did in our youth or something? And so like, oh my gosh, that's where I got spaghetti. Oh my gosh, that's where the a and used to be. Oh my gosh, look, that's the McDonald's I used to go to all the time. Girl, like, come on. All of it's going to be food, really? Would say I'm surprised, but yeah, here we are. For the longest time, a and When things change like that, when they've been around for so long, it's sad. <laughs> You know? Geez, I need new windshield wipers, but... Anyway, so now it's just open road a little bit. You have that early winter kind of gloominess. <laughs> it's about 2.30 in the afternoon, and uh, I'm going to be bouncing around different areas, you know, of this country while I'm here. So... While you're here... What does that mean? She says stuff like that, but whenever someone like questions her about that, that's so personal. Why are you asking me that? Why are you asking about me and my personal life like that? So invasive. This is like a whole chain of like budget hotels that we just passed. <laughs> I went out in public and I uh, went into some stores and I get easily recognized when I'm in Ottawa, Cornwall, in between. Is that true? Like, when we see some sort of photos or selfies or something, like, right, you get recognized, really? Really? By who? Like, people that you knew beforehand? Or, like, you know, if it's a small town, I mean, that would make sense because, because everyone knows everybody, yada, yada, yada. You see someone that you've known forever, right? So I don't know if it's that or it's, like, fans or something, and she's trying to make it seem like fans instead or something. I don't know. It's not, no one knows what goes on in Chantal's head, to be honest, and I don't care to. <laughs> so now more than ever, it's weird. But if you see me, don't. You know, don't be shy to say hey. And uh, yeah, as long as you're a respectful person. <laughs> but most of you are. All right, what is this? Floral Drive? No. Oh, no, I don't want to go there. I used to think that like trees with no leaves were depressing, but it's got a winter aesthetic to it for sure. Wow, it's like the winter time or something has like a winter vibe to it. Wow, I would have never guessed like the winter time would have winter vibes or something. <laughs> Even the fact that like winter vibes, it's like a thing is laughable. <laughs> and you also said that like knife and 60 seconds ago, girl, we know. So you guys all ready for the holidays? I know that being Muslim, you know, we don't celebrate Christmas, but whenever, you know, the holiday season is ingrained in your it's in your culture and you've grown up with it for 38 years <laughs> it's hard to just 39 you know your especially if your family is my family's not even really that religious some members but we they still celebrate um the holidays so it's not really a christmas thing it's more of a holiday season kind of thing and on the left here i use this bike trail all the way to long sioux it took like a couple of hours but it was uh very nice I did it with a friend and we stopped midway for ice cream. So that is all right. I was a kid, of course. <laughs> I could probably do it nowadays if, uh... oh my gosh, it looks like the trees are huddling. That's right. Like they're conferring on something. 
<laughs> but yeah, I could probably do it nowadays if um, I was in shape and if I practiced being in shape, you know, so. All right. Yeah, here we are talking about getting into shape and reminiscing on food that we ate as a child. This is the choices that um, Chantal ended up doing instead of like trying to lose weight, trying to eat better, trying to take this time to exercise. Nope, nope, just going to drive around and waste gas, which I mean, hey, that's her prerogative, but instead of trying to better herself, she's doing this. Again, choices. Okay, we're going to just pull in here. I like to go in this park up here. Put my signal ahead of time because... I love the trees. Oh, I love them. All right, so people, yeah, they just like to come and park, and there's a path over there you can walk down. A lot of walking paths. I love just spending an afternoon or a morning. I, I You know, I miss driving, so I like to take drives. <laughs> I really like to take drives around here. It's extremely peaceful. Didn't she also say quit like she doesn't want to drive anymore? You know, Slaw can just drive me around everywhere. But now that she's back in Canada, oh my god, we're getting nothing but her in the car. The only thing that we're getting is her in the car and her going places, scoot scooting in the car that's not from Timu, but like nothing but car so far. <laughs> this road's a bit bumpy, but whatever. I love it. Okay, is anyone going to be mad if I speed her up to 1.5? Because um, it's just the entire thing. It's just her driving around, which I mean, hey, her prerogative. She can do what she wants, but just um, I would like to get, you know, done with this at like a semi-normal time. But we'll try it. All right, I'm going to go down this road here sharing this moment with you guys. Yeah, sharing this moment with you guys, driving down a road that has ice on it and dead trees and it's gloomy. <gasps> yeah, we're sharing this moment together, you guys. Calm down, Ashley. Calm down. Nice park. I will say Cornwall, it's a nice town. Like, it's nice. It's, it's got a really, um, it's got nice nature walks, it's got nice parks, really nice parks, and many of them. Um, and yet we have yet to hear anything about these parks at all, ever. I've I've never heard her mention any sort of parks, any sort of walking shows, nothing. Not one single thing ever. And now, oh my gosh, yes, the nature parks and the things and the stuff, and wow, we have nope, never would have ever heard of them before. Trails. It's close to Ottawa, it's got, you know, it's close to a lot of nice areas, it's on the St. Lawrence River. So it's right at the border of upstate New York. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. Wow, this is so pretty. Honestly, I am so happy to be here right now. <laughs> Seriously, wow. There's the St. Lawrence River down here. Let's go and have a look-see. I love this. The St. Lawrence River in the wintertime is beautiful. I didn't appreciate it before. But you don't know what you've got till it's gone. I don't know who that is. Some long-haired hair metal guy. Ah, Cinderella, Sebastian Bach, uh, Motley Crue. <laughs> wow. The St. Lawrence in the winter is beautiful, like I said. Yes. There we go. Like, I can't imagine having something this pretty and, like, this open, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, and then spending the entire time inside just, I, I don't understand it at all. I would spend so much of my time outside, but just, it's miserable where I am, so, like, I don't bother. Why would I? It's miserable, it's hot, it's sticky, it's gross, it's just bug-infested, it's, it's not a good time, hence why I spend a lot of my time inside, because, like, who wants to go out in that? Nobody. <laughs> It's windy though. So, so areas like this make it hard for me to be in between two very different geographical worlds. Canada, Kuwait, so different. And 
I feel conflicted. I feel torn. You know, like I love this and I didn't appreciate it before. <laughs> and it's going to be sad to leave it. But I guess ultimately had to leave it are you going back to kuwait already if you're allowed back that is did she already like book her tickets or something i I don't know but from that wording alone that makes me think that but you know god forbid if anyone speculates about that because that's going to be too much um speculation and yada 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 ultimately for me home is where the heart is and as a married woman I feel like husband and wife have to take care of each other. Not being in your lives every day is really hard for me uh, mentally, so. Why? Like, do you not trust your husband? Is that the reason why you're freaking out and um, you've been talking to him 24-7 in your own words, I I think, even, like, a lot from what I've heard? And also, um, if he's working all day and he has so many things to do and he has a job, yada, 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 like, what does he do for work then if, if he's available to do anything and be able to talk to you? and drive you around when you were there, right? Like, what's he doing to where he can do that? Because, you know, when most people go to work, they can't just, like, talk to their spouse 24-7, 365 on a whim. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay. Am I gonna be able to get out of here? Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm on a slant. Oh boy, I'm on a slant. I wonder if there's a lock in this monster. Well, isn't like the Loch Ness Monster in Ireland or Scotland? I'm so sorry for people in other of those places, and I got the wrong one. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> no, it's either one of the two. <laughs> like, isn't it like over there? I think it's. Oh God! Hold on. Let me Google things. Okay, so I googled it. It's um Scotland. So yeah, I, I think you're okay. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you can move. I have no idea. To be uh determined. Sorry, my iced coffee finish. Oh. And no, not from Starbucks. <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, I mean, you're posting on YouTube, so you boycotting is really doing nothing. Yella. All right, so this is a major street here in Cornwall. This is Brookdale Avenue. Okay. All right, I'm about to turn on Pitt Street, which is another busy street here in Cornwall. I'm just waiting to turn here. There's a Tim Hortons as usual on every corner. Yes, there is. Like, literally. I always wanted to try Tim Hortons because I've never tried them before. I've gotten a vibe. Either you absolutely love them or you despise them. There's no in-between, I've found. It's either you absolutely love everything Tim Hortons. Oh, my God, they're so good. This, that, so great. And then there's people that completely despise it and want nothing to do with it. I'm very conflicted on if I ever do. Like, what do I get? Do I get, uh, well, probably a donut or something. Or maybe Timbit, which... Or some piece ten, but but anyways, um, I don't know. I've never tried them. I'm from Florida, of all places. All right. All right. We're gonna drive down Pitt. So much nostalgia just flowing through me. But you know what? I'm not as negative about it right now. It's not bad. I have some good feelings now. You know, sometimes nostalgia is depressing. Sometimes it's nice. It's nice right now. Just being a kid and going to this restaurant that I'm going to, you know? Every single flashback, every single memory, every single thing revolves around food and restaurant Chantal I'm not a therapist or a medical professional yada 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 but like when you keep talking about you know good memories like this every single one of them has to do with food every single one of them so far we're going down by the water here And dare I say, every single place that has a very small downtown area like this, they all look exactly the same. Like the one here does, the one up there does. Every single Hallmark movie ever made has this exact same looking like downtown area every single time. Never amazes me. I will see a random photo of some sort of um, like small downtown area kind of like this. It's like, oh, is that here? Nope, that's not there. It's somewhere in Wyoming or something. I'm like, oh, they all look exactly the same. Apparently, Canada also follows this law of having a town that looks <laughs> exactly the same like this. It's so weird. And... There's Jack Lee's on the right. Yep. 
Look at that. Another food place. Need I say more? Classic place for me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to parallel park and I absolutely suck at it. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I forgot we were going to a buffet, right? <laughs> I might not be able to, guys. Wish me luck. Oh gosh. Am I gonna do it? <gasps> I think I'm gonna do it. Yep. Hi guys, so I'm here at one of the longest standing restaurants. Now, a bit of history I found on a Cornwall Museum website. Really cool to see this website. I'll put the link here somewhere for you guys to see, maybe in the description or something. Um, if you want to know. Is this the place that has like the red interior and like the big gold dragon in the middle? Because she, she's talked about this and shown photos. Because if this is the same place I'm thinking of, that's going to be kind of funny. About Cornwall's history. And this is this restaurant is from like, I think 1978. So it's um it's pretty old. I'm locking my door. <laughs> I always do that. It's pretty old, and it the inside has not been renovated, as far as I know. You guys will see. Um, I talked about this place before. It has not been renovated. I think since the 70s or 80s, and it doesn't really need to because the buffet is so nostalgic for a lot of people here. It's very popular, and a lot of people really love to come back here for the buffet. And yeah, I'm gonna say I hate like modern things here recently with all of like the modern things and this and that. Like take for instance like the Taco Bell rebrand that they did, like when they renovated all the Taco Bells. I hate it it's so cold and unwelcoming and so uncomfortable and there's no like padded seats to where you can actually enjoy your food you're just kind of sat there on a wooden plank and just everything here recently especially with like company logos going super simple and super bland like, to the point to where they're unrecognizable and they're just like everything here recently is so boring with the movie remakes and nothing original um, like the sterilization of anything, I don't know, um, that has character in it. It's just, I'm so bored with like everything. I'm over it. It's just, ugh. No color, no originality, no character, no spice, no anything, no fun. Everything here recently is like, oh, super, um, simplistic, um, no, uh, capital letters, logos that has like two colors maximum if you're lucky. If you're lucky, three, if you really want to go big and bold here recently, it's just, I'm over it. I'm so over it. Um, it's not, wow, fantastic Chinese food. It's Canadianized Chinese food. And by that standards, it's very delicious. Um, so I'm going to have things that don't have pork. And uh, I'll show you some of the dishes that we have here. Which, that's okay, great. Love that for you. Fine. But... You also have diabetes, so whatever you show in this video, people are going to have comments about it, okay? O okay, I hope that you realize that, but continuing on. And I find Chinese takeout, and I used to, it's, spe it's special for me because I used to come here as a kid a lot, and, um, you know, with family, and it was like a treat, and it was super cheap. Their buffet used to be like six something, six something, close to seven dollars for all you can eat, and now it's like I think sixteen to seventeen dollars. So of course inflation, right? But I love the fried rice, I love the broccoli, I love the chicken balls with sweet and sour sauce, the chicken wings. Oh my gosh, they have good chicken wings. They're like fried garlic chicken wings. I can't wait. So I'm gonna go. And also something that I just now realized, um, with all these, you know, great moments and memories and stuff, like, wouldn't your family want to join you on this? Right, because, oh, it's super cheap. Oh, well, I used to go with my family all the time. It was so great, yada, yada, yada. Um, wouldn't your family want to come with you then? Right? Like, if I'm keeping this in, it means that they probably didn't show up or she didn't say that they were there. But very interesting that, like, no one came to pick you up from the airport and now you're going alone to a buffet restaurant instead of going with your family. And I'm not saying also that, like, she can't go by herself or whatever. But, like, right, if you had such, like, great memories there, wouldn't your family want to be there with you since you've been gone for, like, a year anyways? Go eat, yeah. Just, you know, going by myself. No shame in that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the series of exploring my hometown. Now, I will admit that I used to have negative feelings about living here and got tired of that small small town kind of mentality and just wishing for something bigger, like, you know. But coming back and reminiscing about good memories, which is what I'm going to do, good memories, mostly, <laughs> um, it's fun. I'm having fun with it. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I want to do some videos in Ottawa as well and some other little towns because this is like a town um i don't know if you guys know like south stormont nor uh, dundas all that there's like little areas that have little towns that are kind of cool so we have a lot uh of exploring to do um all right so i'm not gonna knock i mean hey if we're exploring and doing things and driving around and having fun like hey 
I mean, no, no problem in that, but just, it's the execution, like, how it goes, what she films, what she does, like, because, like, going out and doing things, okay, great, love that for us, that seems like fun, whatever, but just, it's execution about, like, what you show, what you do, editing, a lot of it has to do with... Um, execution in a lot of this so study some people uh, get some tips and try your best is all I gotta say hello let's go inside and get some food all right let's go in I'm seeing uh, breaded things. I'm seeing sauces that probably have sugar in it. Uh, I'm seeing carbs. I'm seeing what I think is an egg roll too. I can't really tell from that, but choices were made. And the other people beside that have a completely different opinion and I am definitely one of them. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end the video. Here, um, they play copyright music, so I couldn't really talk about it. Just ran to my car. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna end the video. Or did she just walk back and she's out of breath? Because uh, even if you go back to the beginning, she was also out of breath from just sitting down. Yo, I'm gonna do more of these videos. I hope you like exploring with me and reminiscing. Bro, just wait until you're done. It's me like, okay, yeah, I hope you guys really I hope that you guys have fun with uh, having fun. Just calm down sit for a few minutes and then film instead of being like manically trying to catch your breath because it's not cute and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye okay bye okay great well that for us okay so that was that um not terrible but like could have been a little bit better if you ask me personally but but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one bye